Hello everyone and welcome back to my Star Citizen channel. Star Citizen 4.5 is just around the corner. And honestly, usually a new patch feels like just another number. But this time, there is a genuine leap in the technology behind it. Two things are really stealing the spotlight. The full switch to the Vulkan API and the start of a new generation of NPC AI. But before we start, let's talk, why am I making this video today? To be honest, I'm making this video because I want to share my hope with you. The hope that we are finally about to see the breakthrough we have all been waiting for. I really believe things could get much better now. Better AI, real progress and technical performance that finally just goes uphill from here. I'm not a game developer, not a programmer and not an IT pro. Everything I will say is based on the videos, articles and all the info I have taken in. So if there is a detail that's a bit off, let me know it in the comments. The slides you will see reflect roughly what I'm trying to explain here. I put in a lot of effort to make everything as visual as possible, especially for these technical topics. If sometimes things seem a little unclear, just take it as a visual filler. The main thing is the core idea comes across. So, now on the main topic, what does Vulkan really change? And how smart are NPCs going to get in patch 4.5? No PR fluff, just straightforward talk and clear examples. Let's go! You have probably noticed that even with a top-notch PC, Star Citizen used to have little hiccups, stuttering frame rates or just felt kinda sluggish sometimes. The reason? The game with DirectX 11 basically ran like a supermarket with only one open checkout. No matter how powerful your hardware was or how many CPU cores you had, only one would actually do the work. The result? An overloaded CPU and a bored GPU. Vulkan finally fixes that. Picture it this way. Now all the cashiers open at once. Your CPU can spread out the work across all available cores. Everything I send to the graphics card in parallel. The entire data stream is way more efficient. That doesn't mean you will suddenly get 200 FPS uh, in every dogfight, but the experience will be a lot smoother and more consistent. Especially those annoying little micro stutters and hitches. They are noticeably reduced. Star Citizen finally feels like a modern game. To be fair, it's actually feeling already <laughs> like a modern game, but you know what I mean. And even more importantly, Vulkan builds the technical foundation for everything that's coming. Without Vulkan, features like ray tracing, global illumination or truly complex large-scale battles would have been impossible. For the first time, the graphics can actually keep pace with the game's ambitions, rather than holding everything back. Let's get to something every Star Citizen player knows. NPCs that get stuck on chairs, block themselves on crates or just stand on tables with no clue how to get down. The real problem? The AI has so far navigated on an invisible uh, 2D carpet called the nav mesh. That's fine for tight hallways, but in a world where objects and obstacles can appear anywhere, it's a total disaster. A crate's in the way, a door opens, the AI has no idea where to go and just gives up. With patch 4.5, this changes. Enter voxel navigation. Real three-dimensional fields, made up of tiny blocks that map the environment in all directions. Now the AI can really see. Is there a new route over, under or around something? Did something change? It checks, recalculates super fast, takes over, uses detours or might even surprise you from above. Fights feel way less scripted and so much more tactical. That absurd stuff where NPCs get stranded on furniture, hopefully that's over for good. And all this only works because Vulkan finally brings the computing power needed. Way more tasks can be spread out in parallel. The AI is more effective, or let's say reactive, and everything runs smoother. Bottom line, the new AI won't be flawless from day one. But for the first time, it will feel real, agile and even a bit clever. Star Citizen is finally stepping up from a puppet show to a true sandbox. <music> 
Star Citizen 4.5 is honestly so much more than the regular patch. Vulcan finally brings the game up to the technical level it really deserves. The new NPC AI is giving us for the first time enemies and maybe soon even crewmates who knows that actually feels like real participants in a living world not just like game puppets without vulcan there is no modern performance and without voxel ai no credible dynamic game world so now it's your turn vulcan isn't universally active yet and the new ai will only start rolling out with patch 4.5 honestly we will only see the true impact over time i think what do you think? Do you believe CIG is bringing us a, a yeah, let's say, real game changer this time? Will NPCs with the new Voxel update be truly different or is it just hype and marketing talk again? Let me know your thoughts, your hype or your doubts down in the comments. I'm really curious about the discussion. Thanks for watching and yeah, see you in the verse.